what would happen. Like the cashier can't just start humiliating a customer, even if they're poor. You don't just start humiliating someone that's wrong. Like, what are you gonna humiliate her for that she's poor? I mean, like, no offense, but, like you're working as a cashier. Like, yeah, you still have a job, but it's like, who are you to judge? Like, it's, I don't see you being the CEO of freaking Darman Studios. So why are you judging someone else when your job isn't that great either? Again, I get it that, well, just because she's poor doesn't mean she doesn't have a job. It just means she's poor. Like, you're probably poor, poor, poor too. You're a cashier. Not that cashiers are poor, but I'm just saying, like, why are you judging someone like you're a cashier? You're not even the CEO of freaking Tesla, you know? And you're judging. I believe the cashier is gonna be that rich girl that would, that, that would refuse to tip. I think one of the one the video played when I downloaded it, I saw it. Um, but yeah, I don't think this would happen. It just says cashier humiliates poor mom. What happens next is shocking. When I saw the actual title, it said something different. It said like, shames mom for like coupons or something. But like, you can't do that. Like the customer's always right, right? They're not, but they, in this case, I assume the customer's gonna, are gonna be right. It's 13 minutes. Well, it's a little bit lengthy, but I guess we'll see what happens. What happens next is shocking. So let's go, guys. But don't be shaming anybody, no matter who you Hi. are. I'm hungry. Can hmm. I have a hot dog? I'm sorry, honey. I only have enough for groceries. But it's my birthday. Okay, come on. Plus groceries, hot, a hot dog is Excuse food, me, isn't sir? it? Isn't it? How much for a hot dog? $3. It's a lot for a hot dog. Do you accept wit cards? <sighs> Come on, lady, I don't take food stamps. Only real money. Wait, is she... Wait, is she pregnant? Like, I don't want to sound mean, but is she... Like, she has, like, literally a round belly, like, as if she's pregnant. Do you think I could have one for two dollars? Maybe you have a smaller one? What do I look like, government assistance? <laughs> take a hike. Wow. That's that's not I'm okay. Sorry, Isabella. I promise I'll make you something to eat as soon as we get home, okay? Okay. Yeah, so they so they have a home, so she must have some kind of job. Maybe she's just low on money. Little help. I wish I could. She's right on bumping her belly. She's to be pregnant. Honest, you've got more than we've got. I'm sorry to hear that. By the way. Congratulations. Thank I, you. I knew she was pregnant. I hope you have a really nice day. I didn't want to be rude. I'm like, mm, I don't want to say nothing just in case, but yeah. Hello. Yep, it's her. Um, do you, uh, do you accept wit cards? Oh, great. You're one of those. I'm um, sorry? Do you know how frustrating it is that I have to work? Well, you get to sit at home relaxing on your couch, eating free food with my tax dollars. It's not like that at all. Yeah, you don't know what she's been through. Facts. <laughs> Never mind. I should have stayed quiet. The answer is yes, we do accept those. I don't, I've never heard of a WIC card. WIC? W-I-C? WIC? Let me guess. Strawberry? I don't know what that is, but <laughs> I don't know anything, so it's fine. <laughs> Here's your change. Oh, she's not nice to him. Here's your change. What does that look for? Like, why are you being so bitchy all of a sudden? It's twelve ninety-eight. Uh, it's $12 the cake mix too, please. I'll have to ring that up separately. What? Why is that? Why? Don't act like you don't know. You know you can't use your wit card for luxury food items like cake. I'm sorry, it's my first time using this card. Uh-huh. Why is that luxury? How it's cake. Think? Maybe I can pay cash. It's 210. It's 210. Um, oh, yeah, I wish only has $2. You're gonna have to put it back. Mm. What? No. You promised me to have cake for my birthday. Only 10 I cents short. And I promise you that. <coughs> Um, no, really, don't worry about it. Oh my gosh, um, I couldn't, but I appreciate your offer so much. No, I insist. No, she doesn't need any more help. She already gets her groceries for free. But she's oh pregnant. God. She has a daughter. I just feel bad. Why do you think she's pregnant? She's trying to get more assistance. She's pregnant. Uh, what are you talking about? You 
You really shouldn't judge someone before you get to know them. Maybe if you weren't so lazy and got a job, you wouldn't need my tax dollars to support you. You don't know what she's been through once I again. I Exactly. I even had my own business. Yeah, better than you. You see? Now here's the backstory that I was waiting for. the past several years, my husband and I ran our own restaurant. Ooh. It was always packed with customers and business was booming. Even though the hours were long, we loved every minute of it. When we found out we were pregnant, it couldn't have been better timing. We were both so excited to be having our second child. Very good. It felt like all of our dreams were finally coming true. And then one day... Yeah, what happened? I decided to stay home and watch Isabella while my husband went to work. Did he not come back? kiss goodbye and he never came back. be home early. Oh, oh, why do I feel like he never came back? Except... He never made it home at all. A police officer came to the door and said my Carlos had gotten into a car accident. <laughs> and he didn't survive. Why is it always a car accident? It's always a car accident. Like, seven videos now, it's like, always a car accident. All we could do was cry. With my husband now gone, and me being pregnant, there was no way I could run the restaurant all by myself. So... I had no choice but to close it down and turn in the key. I tried my best to get by. I downgraded our apartment and I cut our cost as much as I could. But when I could no longer afford to feed my daughter, that's when I decided to ask for help. Which makes sense. Like, you need to feed your kids. So you see? I still don't know what a white card is. a job. And a husband. I lost everything. I'm a prideful woman. It wasn't easy for me to ask the government for assistance. But I would do anything to make sure my daughter and my baby don't go hungry. It's so bad you had to go through all that. I am so sorry. Oh, why am I feeling like this girl's not gonna care? Oh my god. Really? You're gonna laugh at that? Good story, lady. And I had thought I heard it all. You know, if you do decide to get a job, maybe you should be an actress. <laughs> That's what you have to say to me? After everything I just shared with you? Look, I don't have time for sob stories. Unlike you, I have to work. So okay, no, you're fired. You're fired. I don't know who your boss is, but you're fired. Like, I'm firing you. I don't even care. Like, you're fired. You're gone. Like, who the fuck are you to say that to me? What is wrong with you? You just laugh at that? Oh, my husband died in a car accident. Ah. I don't even know what to say. Like, what the fuck do I even say to that? This girl is so stupid. I don't even know. I don't even... I really hope she gets fired, and I really hope she's in the same situation. Normally, I don't wish anything upon anybody, but she needs to be homeless now. Like, she has to lose her job. She has to be homeless. She, this bitch, if this bitch does not get fired, oh, I'm gonna fire her myself. I'm gonna go over there, go over to uh, Darwin Studios. You're fired. You're, no. She really thinks that she's acting this all out because she's too lazy to work. Seriously? Like, I just explain a whole life story with you. And then, and then her, oh. Do you want the cake or not? Please, take this. I won't take no for an answer. Thank you. <laughs> Let me get you your chain. Oh, no. Buy your daughter a hot dog and consider it a birthday present for me. Oh. Thank you. I don't even know what to say. You don't need to say anything. Yeah, fuck you, cashier. Are you ready, honey, to eat your strawberry cake? I can't wait. <laughs> Cynthia? Isn't oh that the girl? Oh my god. 
Hi. There's another girl that oh was with God. the business that, that you saw when I closed change. the doors. And your food stamp card. Have a great day. Thanks. And your food stamp card, like yelling at it, like sure. we're trying to tell the whole story. And, and now hey, she's happy probably, birthday. And now. Thank you. Yeah, because the girl was there before, and now what's she going to say to them? Let's go, honey. It was nice to see you, Monica. She's probably wondering what's happening there, like what? Come on, let's go get you a hot dog. Uh, are you sure? Yeah. Cynthia, do you have a minute? I actually wanted to ask you something. Uh, sure. What's up? You know, after you left, my next tenant only lasted about six months. No one knows how to run a restaurant like you. Uh, -uh. that's sweet. Thank you. <laughs> Our old customers still come by asking about you. Mm -hmm. You know, I wanted to ask you, have you ever thought about, I don't know... Coming back? Coming back? I, th I, I think I she would if she have, could. But, um, a lot has changed since back then. I don't have, uh, my husband as a partner anymore. So, um... I don't know, I don't know probably... It be too complicated, but thank you. Maybe I could partner with you. We could go, say... 50-50. I can't. I wouldn't have the money to put up 50% and we're barely getting by, but really I do appreciate it. I will pay for all of it. Oh shit. We'll hire a manager to run the operations so you don't have to be on your feet all day. All you need to do is take care of the customers. And mm. we will take care of the rest. So what do you say? Really? Yes. I, um... Mom, you should do it. You always talk about how much you want to be at the restaurant. And it's not like you're working anyways. <laughs> <laughs> you see? It looks like it's perfect timing for everyone. So what do you say? Come on, come on. Say yes, say yes. Um... <laughs> uh, what the heck? All right. Let's do it. Yes. <laughs> Isabella and Cynthia are so excited to open up their restaurant together. A few weeks later, they celebrate their grand reopening. Cynthia's no, old customers there. are so happy she's back and come to show their support. Before long, business was booming. The tables were always full and the people were always happy. Cynthia was running a very successful restaurant again, with a little bit of help, of course. Cynthia and Isabella even managed to get their old place back. There you go. Everything was falling uh, right back in place. If that cashier dog got fired, I swear to God. The girls and the baby couldn't be happier. Very good. That's a very... I didn't expect this story to be so sad. Though. And then one day, Cynthia comes back to the convenience store. You're one of those, huh? Oh my god, here we go again. Yeah. Someone who lives off welfare. That's enough. Right? Punch her in the Please face right now. Please don't listen to her. Excuse me? I don't know who you think you are coming in here like this. You're a cashier. You can't speak to you fucking everyone you like that. You can You're fired. Really? Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. And, uh, congratulations, by the way. Thank you. Please, be the owner and fire her. Why do I like you on the place? Oh, I'm not acting. I do on the place. Fire her right now. Please well, fire her. My partner and I. Please fire her. Please do it. Oh my god. You better fire her. I'll be so pissed. What? I, I don't understand. How did this Wait, they closed this door? Well, it's just like she said. Well, even even, even he's going to sue. You shouldn't suit. judge somebody before you get to know them. Yeah, bitch. Here you go. Thanks. You're welcome. And I have changed me. Oh, that's okay. You keep it. Seriously? Thanks. Wait, aren't you? Roger, the head of operations of our restaurant. And oh, now, shit. the manager of the store. Fire her now. Fire her, fire her, fire her, fire her. <laughs> You've got to be out of your mind. There's no way I'll be reporting to a homeless man. Well, you won't have to because you're fired. You don't have to because you're fired. Oh, thank God. Are you serious? No, mm -hmm. I'm not serious. It's a joke. <laughs> Fuck off. I always hated this job anyway. Okay, we hated you too. Bye. Bye. <laughs> yes. 
Fucking give that sass. Sass. <laughs> yes, I love that. So. Oh my god, that was how great. Did that, feel? that felt I'm amazing. Not gonna lie. This is just a video, and I felt I feel amazing. <laughs> God. Can we have strawberry cake tonight? Hell yeah. You know what? Why don't we have chocolate too? <gasps> Yay! <laughs> what are we going to eat? That was a terrific <laughs> ending. Oh my God, I was just hoping so well. Like, oh. Like once she started laughing at that part, like once I saw in the beginning she was just being su su such a C-U-N-T, I was like, this bitch better get fired. If she, does, if she does not get fired, this is not a drama, a drama video at all. Thank God she got fired. Oh my God. Like for some reason I thought that she wasn't going to get away with it. Oh my God. Thank God she got fired. Um, I don't even know how you get act like that. Like cashier or not. Like who do you, how the hell do you treat people like that? Again, you never know what someone's like story is. Like uh, me and my mom were at Costco and then there was a girl sitting on the side of the thing where it's like really busy and the cars go by. The car in front of us, I was driving the car, the car in front of us gave a $5 bill, and I was like, oh, they gave a $5 bill. We didn't have anything, I guess, or my mom doesn't really carry cash usually, so I didn't, we didn't have anything to give, but, yeah, we saw, um, and I was telling my mom, yeah, you never know what they're going, I was like, darn man, you never know what they're going through. So even he's changing my life, I guess you would say, not changing it, but he's influencing it. So I wouldn't say they're changing lives, they're influencing lives, I would say, or at least my life. Like anytime I go on public, I kind of think of Darman videos, to be honest. Like, I see someone homeless, I basically think of Darman right away. And I'm like, you never know what their story is, you never know. Yes, some always could be faking it or being stupid or just doing it to um, um, get beer or cigarettes, which is possible, it really is possible, but you never know who's trying to actually fix their life, that's the thing. So, uh, some people could just want the money and... So for cigarettes and wine and this and that, but you never know who has kids and you never know who has this and you know what I mean? Like you just never know. That's why you should be play to everyone, be anything but her. Like, I don't know what the hell this girl's problem was. Like laughing, laughing, like what are you, what are you doing? There's no way I'm going to be reporting to a homeless man. Okay, well guess what? You're not employed now, so... Ta-ta, bitch. Oh, I just want to punch her right in the face. Like, oh my god. Like, that was sad, but also really, like, that also got me really, like, like riled up because that bitch cashier. Like, how do you even do that? Like, I don't even understand how you do that. Like, again, you're working or not. I don't care where you're working. I don't care what you're working as. I don't care if you're working. Even if you're not working, don't be a dick like that. Like, what? Like, why are you being, like, a dick like that? Like, assuming they don't have a job. Like, they probably did have a job. They, people lose stuff. It's life. Life sucks. So shit happens. So they lost the job. They had a job. They had everything. Now they have nothing. Like I know somebody personally who who was basically a nurse, and then she basically lost it, and now she doesn't have a job. She doesn't have a job. She's not homeless, but she doesn't have a job. You know what I mean? But she did work. It's, it's not that, like, people just assume you're lazy. You're not lazy. You could have easily lost your job. You could have had a job, had a business. You could, like, you like let's say you're driving in your car, and then someone's like, oh, yeah, like, pff, get, like get to work. Like, I'm, I'm here working my ass off, and then yet before, they literally had a way better job than you have now. So it's like, what the fuck are you complaining for? Like, yes, you have a job now, and I don't, but I guess what? I was a whole lot more successful than you when you're fucking judging me. Fuck you. Ugh. I don't know, like a customer, I could understand shaming maybe a poor cashier, but a cashier shaming a customer? Like again, if the customer's being a dick, like don't get me wrong, I've definitely yelled at customers too, because like you like you can't not, you literally can, you, you can't not yell at them if they're being stupid. Like you just can't. If you worked in fast food, which I have, or, or retail, you know. You know that you can't just stay quiet, you can't. Like you gotta bitch them out, you gotta do something, you know what I mean? Like you can't just stay quiet, it's, it's like impossible. Like, kudos to anybody that can stay quiet, because, it's not easy, to, to tell you that much. Ugh, anyways, I don't want, I don't understand how that girl was being so, so stupid, like, oh my god, okay, I'm just gonna end, end this video right now, because I'm just gonna get heated more and more by, by a second, just imagining her stupid face, like, she's pretty, I'm just gonna punch her in the face, make her ugly. Anyways, <laughs> thank you guys for watching, if you guys didn't enjoy this video and my reaction to, to this video, be sure to give it a like, be sure to comment down below your thoughts. Because, yeah, I was not happy with that at all. Um, yeah, if you guys did enjoy it, be sure to like, comment your thoughts. 
And be sure to subscribe if you want to, if you have not done so yet. And turn on that little bell so you get notified every video I do upload. I upload daily journaling videos at noon, which you guys know. Until I'm all finished, then I'll try doing daily horror reactions at noon. Probably not going to happen, but I'll try doing daily horror, daily horror reactions at noon too. If not, well then I'll upload weekly. We'll see what happens. Um, and sorry that I haven't done a uh, Mr. Nightmare video in a little bit. I'll try doing that soon. Maybe today, who knows. But yeah, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Deuces!